Britain. It's a it's a beautiful place. Loads of uh, fantastic scenery, great people, and even better food. Today we're gonna be looking at a Twitter account called No Context Brits. It's very funny. It's I followed it for a little a little bit, and I must say it is a highlight of my Twitter experience. It is a shining light in the dark, empty void that is Twitter.com. Oh, this is a classic. Granddad eats half a tub of paint, thinking it's yogurt. <laughs> oh, bless him. Bless him. I hope I hope he's I hope he's okay. All right. Someone's lift, listed a coffin for 200 quid. My nan didn't die, so we are selling the coffin. We purchased last Thursday. It's five foot four long and is in new condition. Social distancing may be difficult on collection as it's quite heavy. We put my granddad in it to see if we can lift it for a practice run. But if you bring four people, it should be okay. That's good to know. That's great to know. <laughs> <laughs> Doing box mills, inbox me for order. You got loads of orders through Jason Powell. What? School bans bags, so boy turns up carrying books in a microwave. What, what, the, what kind of school bans a bag? Why what, why? what would they have to gain from that? Like, how are they supposed to take things to and from? Are they supposed to just have a load of books under their arm? Schools are so brain dead, I swear. Great Grandma 100 who thanks Sausage Rolls for her long life has a Greg's themed birthday party. <laughs> I mean, good honor. <laughs> good honor. <laughs> Customer notice, please do not rearrange the candles in an offensive manner as this could upset other customers and families with small children. <laughs> You're just asking for it at that point. You, you, like, just don't put up a notice because it's going to happen. <laughs> oh my God, what a number plate. What a number plate. The only other number plate I can think of that's better than that is uh, my editor Will's number plate. He literally has yeet. He has yeet for his number plate. I really want to buy it off him, but he wouldn't sell it to me. I can't even drive. I just want it. <laughs> a man sitting in front of me on the train is using a Twix as a pill. I mean, improvise, adapt, overcome. It's <laughs> soup of the day, Carly. <laughs> Oh my god, that's actually quite genius. You gotta give us some credit there. That is probably one of the best in British inventions ever. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed by our ingenuity. Did somebody say Chinese? Okay, now I know I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this because I said this on Twitter and I got told off, but who gets chips? with a Chinese. And is that curry sauce? That's not Chinese. If you think chips are an appropriate food to have in a Chinese meal, you are completely wrong. I'll, I'll, I'll have an, I'll leave an exception for salt and pepper chips. But just plain chips, that's, no, no, sorry, but no. My wife and I visited Liverpool for our 30th wedding anniversary from Texas. Sorry, who goes to Liverpool? Who travels all that way, all that distance and thinks, yes, we are going to go to Liverpool. Anyway, our, our evening was ruined when a man dressed as an adult baby called my wife a mad yank slut because she never heard of a band called Steps. Fair enough, fair enough. Did did he give the city of Liverpool a bad rating because of that one person? Have you been to Liverpool? <laughs> Throw back to when a nun wore Reeboks to the royal wedding. Oh, that's elite. That's elite. <laughs> 2020 could well be the year we managed to have a direct rail line to London. Don't think you will be saying it's good when terrorists... What? I mean, I don't even think the terrorists would want to go to Grimsby. Thought that was the EastEnders intro for a minute. Don't you mean the River Thames? You can taste it. Ice cream just hits different on them little, like, wooden sticks. It just does. Like, it tastes so much better from that than, like, a metal spoon. I, I, I can't explain why. Imagine, question mark, scoring a goal while everyone in the country was clapping for the key workers. You are joking, right? Would I be? Do you remember that part of the pandemic when it first started and everyone just played pro comps. That was so good. Why can't we go back to that? I, I know why. Because the fucking PS5 is not in stock. Like half the friendship group has already got like PS5s and half them don't. Alex has got one. I don't. Sony just stock the fucking PlayStation 5, please. It's not a fucking supreme drop. Just let me have, let me play my fucking FIFA. If you had to name your dog after the last thing you ate, what would they be called? Minge. <laughs> good one. Good one. <laughs> so what's everyone studying at uni? You fucking want it, you mug. Never heard of that course, mate. Think we're applied to the wrong person, mate. Apology. <laughs> hey, babes. This is Talisa from N-Dubs. Can I borrow a 10 off you till Tuesday? I'll bring my cousin, who is the real Tappy, to come meet you. <laughs> no, 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 yo, it's Tappy. <laughs> That has to be intentional. That, that can't not be intent. That has to be intentional. Or fake. Probably fake. It's probably, probably fake. <laughs> it's a job you need, Laura, not another boyfriend. Elite, elite. At least Angela's honest. Apparently, British people have no culture when it comes to food. Please explain this. Hang on. No, that's rank. No, that's horrible. Honestly, I've, I've never got the appeal of either Space Raiders or Hula Hoops. They're both like bottom tier crisps for me. People are right. English food is, is terrible. <laughs> that is what I will give the Americans. I'll give them that. An American discovers weather space. Let's see this. Okay, so the place that I found that interests me the most is this place called Weatherspoons in England, and it's so freaking good. 
pub that serves food. It's not it's not magical or anything. It's all right. Really, really cheap. I'm gonna get the vegetarian breakfast. Yeah, to be fair, that is that is probably the best thing about it. It's just so cheap. It's so cheap. Especially when you go up north. Like it's so cheap. So you want a latte? Boom. And you can do this as many times as you want. I don't see why this is something that you take the piss out of, like being like, oh these bloody Americans have just discovered all or with spoons. She's having fun. Let her have fun. Arthur says, I don't know why this makes me angry. I think you need to get a job, Arthur. How to eat... No, honestly, if you don't like the little um, the little sweet cherry... They're sick. The sweet cherries on the cherry bake, well, they're best bit. Best bit, in my opinion. Once again, my point is proven. Chips with Chinese, wrong -uns. Absolute wrong -uns. Sorry, but there's no defending you at this point, chip people. Is that even supposed to be Chinese? That's just a mess. That's just a fucking mess, whatever it is. Aw, pensioner81 who joined the game because he was lonely as jailed. Free him up. Free him up. What? Pringles in a packet. That's not real. That's that's fake. I'm calling fake. That's fake. <laughs> I just bought my first flight in London thanks to OnlyFans. <laughs> the difference between Strongbow's US and UK miles. Yo, because we are we're Britain and we like drink. We drink loads of beer and cider and loads of alcohol. More than the Americans. The Americans are pussies. They don't drink much. They just drink Smirnoff ice and a half pint. Whereas we can drink like 20 pints in a night. We are so awesome. Teacher sees disco equipment from 12 year old boy who hosted rave in school toilets. Let him have his entrepreneurial spirit. This is what I hate about schools. They always try and shut down kids trying to hustle. At like my school they try to, I don't know whether this is even true, but they were telling kids who were selling like sweets and lucasades and shit like it was illegal it wasn't i, I don't think maybe it was I don't, I don't know i don't really care i think stuff like that should be encouraged it promotes entrepreneurial spirit he even missed the badge <laughs> i was on the phone to my dad the other day and he goes george you remind me of, of team over i went oh why and oh you, you got the same skin color I was, well, yes. <laughs> the best pizza comes in these boxes. Absolutely. The best pizza always comes from like the greasy pizza shop. Domino's, nah. Nah, no Domino's. Greasy pizza shop, best. <laughs> Baby, you're all right. You haven't touched your giant custard cream. I've seen that. I've known of that image for months and it still gets me. I just love the idea of someone making a giant custard cream. <laughs> Why? What purpose does it serve? Sorry, what? No. Actually, you know what? That's still not as bad as the ch as chips with Chinese. That, go that goes fine. I'm I can live with that. I can't. I still can't live with chips with Chinese. It's not on. It's just not on, guys. If you go out tonight, please do not get arrested. We'll make fajitas and apple crumble for you. Let me know where. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> this can't be real. Liam Gallagher thought he had coronavirus, but his house was just hot. It's confusing and scary. <laughs> Hi, our deli- <laughs> It's spelled wrong. Delivery driver dropped mixed kebab on floor by mistake. Do you want fresh one cooking or I could knock 50 people? <laughs> Was it in the box? A little bit fell on the pavement. Not much though. Fresh one cooking. Are you taking the piss? Do you realise how busy? Why offer the alternative then? <laughs> Why'd you put a jug on your feet so don't burn me feet on hot tap? Why would you post that? Why would you post that? <laughs> Who is this? And this isn't even Britain. Look at that. Look at that number. That's America. This is a lie. This this account is a fraud. But anyway, hello. Your Uber Eats order is here. Oh, coming. Are you at the main entrance? No, on top of the building. I just landed my helicopter. Yes, I'm at the main entrance. Oh, well, he's not getting a tip. <laughs> <laughs> Food was freezing and horrible. Your house stink. Do you remember when everyone believed this? That Big Ben was actually going to be renamed to Massive Mohammed. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. This better not be true. It's a British landmark. It always will be and should remain as Big Ben. You know, I think it was that Facebook post there that made it remain as Big Ben, not the fact that it's obviously not going to be renamed to Massive Mohammed. Alright, but anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you want to see another video like this, then please be sure to let me know and I'll do it. Because I, I, I like... I like doing this. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. There's a load of people watching this that aren't subscribed. And if you do subscribe, I will give you a massive kiss. Alright, good? We got a deal? Nice. Alright, in a bit.